Welcome back to Snook's Naptime Nerd Talk, where my little dude is sleeping, so I'm going to come in here and talk to you about some nerd stuff. Well, this week's episode is a very special episode. It's my birthday episode. But, with every year that passes, the less and less special these birthdays are getting, especially as I inch closer to the 40-year mark. As I think back to the youth, you want those parties back, the get-togethers, the pin to tell the donkeys, or even going to McDonald's to have a birthday party when they actually wanted you to come inside and not just a former shell of themselves. Now strap on those birthday party hats and grab your whistles and join me as I take a ride down memory lane and visit some birthdays of yesteryears. It's a birthday kind of day and there's magic in the air and McDonald's is your special place and all your friends are there. It's Mac time now, time for McDonald's. Do you wink at me? Only you will know. It's Mac time at McDonald's. One more time from the top. Please know. If you were lucky enough to have a birthday party in the 90s, you had a lot of choices to go to. Unfortunately, a lot of those places have closed down, abandoned, or turned into a spirit Halloween once a year. Some still stand with a complete different business model. McDonald's, Burger King. Gone are the play places and the game stations. End with the dim lighting and the depressing color schemes. With a lot of places going the route of stay in your car, go through the drive through do not make eye contact, and do not dare smile at the customer service because they lack customer service. In the 90s though, a birthday party could be as simple as going to McDonald's, grabbing a Happy Meal, comparing the toys with your friends, and roughhousing the ball pit. Maybe a trip to the theater afterwards, and all this without trying to break the piggy bank. But if fast food wasn't in your planner, you probably would find yourself at the testing grounds. A place where you would show your friends your physical limitations. Climbing padded mountains that seemed to be stories tall, probably in reality was only 8 to 10 feet high, and jumping from the top into a ball pit, avoiding getting your fingers caught in the roller slides, and trying not to throw up over the stench of feet and pee, or trying to avoid the throw up in the tunnels that was caused by that. I'm talking, of course, about Discovery Zone. A place where you could let your imagination run wild, and getting invited to one of these parties made it almost seem worth going to the weird kids party in the first place. Unfortunately, DC Discovery Zone found itself in a financial bind in around 96 to 99 and went bankrupt. Enter the mouse. No, not Mickey, Chucky. Chucky e. Cheese bought into DC and transformed some of its locations to the house of the mouse and brought his animatronic nightmare friends with him. Pizza, arcade, and beer for the parents? What else could you want from a party? Well, exit that creep show and enter Celebration Station. Celebration Station has the best birthday party. And the biggest. You get the most ways to play on your birthday. There's enough fun for you, your friends, your whole family, even grandma. One of my favorite places to have a birthday party. And if you are lucky to have one of these around you, you would understand why that mouse should have got caught in a trap a long time ago. With only a few locations in America, Greensboro, North Carolina was mine. And surprisingly, it's still there. The arcade inside was filled with classics such as TMNT, X-Men, Simpsons, and that one with like a prince and a sword or whatever. I didn't understand it back in the day and still don't. But once you filled up with pizza, you would go outside and it was filled with every kid's dream. Baseball cages, go-karts, bumper boats, putt-putt. Hours of entertainment for you, your friends, and the parents that got drugged there in the first place. Of course, it also had its own animatronic music creep show gig with Daniel and the Dixie Diggers. But that was easily avoidable, unlike Chucky. But if going out wasn't in that year's plan, and staying at home and having a party, even those times were amazing. Even looking for imitations for the party, before Etsy. Be If you're lucky and going to the store and actually finding who you're looking for, be it TMNT, Power Rangers, DuckTales, Care Bears, you name it. And then going through a classmate checklist, seeing who you wanted to invite and who you wanted to avoid. Probably the first time that you felt extreme guilt as a child. But I'm not talking about a 90s themed party like today. With the bright colors, the generic attire. No, the birthday party's full of kids dressed in bugle boy clothing, digging through treat bags to get a disappointing plastic car or hand slapper. 
Recently, I just found a VHS tape from probably one of my birthday parties from 1991 or 1992. In it, all the kids probably had Ninja Turtle shirts on. The majority of my presents were Ninja Turtles. It was just a good time, and I found myself being like Clark Griswold was in the attic and just reminiscing and almost bringing tears to my eyes of yesteryears. So, with that being said, let's watch some footage of it. Just like most parties in the 90s, even when you go out to restaurants or anywhere else, you have creepy animatronic singers for their birthday parties at the house. You had one of those. Let's save this for another day. But after watching that, reminiscing of the birthdays of the past, it made me sad and nostalgic, of course, but then I remembered, hey, I'm a dad now. I could do the same for my kid. And then it just, it made me happy for birthdays again. Not mine, but his. And hopefully I can provide the same memories that my parents did for me. But, so with that being said, I'm gonna leave on that. And until next time, Y'all don't forget to be kind and retro wine. Oh, thanks. No.